So, uh, really good fortune tonight. My friend Shannon, who lives about uh, two and a half, three hour drive away from he, me, um, messaged, and uh, my wife got the message. It said that the, uh, the local uh, Chilcot National Government was uh, giving out uh, coho, and uh, so I grabbed the cooler and went down to uh, where they're giving out coal and they gave me quite like a cooler full so let me just show that to you I know what I'll be doing for tomorrow and next little while I think I'm gonna smoke all this fish it's beautiful beautiful fish so just uh, have a look at this look at that that is so gorgeous and icy cold like just total flaked ice uh, this is coastal fish for sure it's nice and silver so tomorrow what I'll do is uh, let me just um, my hands are all sticky now so tomorrow I will uh, I'm gonna dress these up and uh, prep them for the smokehouse and get that smokehouse going because oh my god that's just such beautiful fish my fingers right in the way I'm so excited I like that is just such a blessing my goodness thank you thank you Chilcotin National Government and thank you Shannon for thinking of us and getting me on this uh, both Shannons my wife uh, come out uh, into the living room where I was just kind of vegging and uh, yeah got me in gear so thank you all I'm so excited I just pulled out my knives a couple of my knives got them razor sharp and they are ready for action tomorrow. Look at that. It just sings. They're going to work tomorrow. Stay tuned. Okay, so uh, ready to start processing this fish up. So I uh, got some coho, the beautiful coast coho, uh, donated by the uh, Chilcotin National Government. Just gonna get it, get it ready for uh, for the jars. No sense messing up two places. I got all this set up and, and ready to go. I'm gonna well, keep some of the fins too, though. Oh yeah, just okay. for soup and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because I use it for soup and yeah. the backbones just on a couple of fish. Yeah. Okay. How many fish do you have? Show me. I don't even know. Look at this. Look at the size of these coho. Yeah. So beautiful. That's a beauty. Do you want me to take them all out and put them on the table? Sure. I think I will open this up. It's just uh, easier to get a cleaner cut. Inside. Yeah, these are beauties, man. Mm -hmm. Beautiful fish. Oh my goodness, the generosity. I know, I was so happy. So just for filling the purposes, there's your backbone right there. Take your sharp knife and you can see the vertebrae right here. Just start cutting right there and use that backbone here as a guide. You just drag your knife following the backbone all the way down. That's all there is to it. And the same thing here, a little bit opposite. But lift that belly out of the way. So... How many of these back ones and stuff you try and keep? Mm -hmm. Like for the soup? And I'd say three. Three? Are you going to keep any of the heads? I can keep a couple. <coughs> yeah, definitely. That's a good grocery. We got Reagan and uh, Jen to try like the cheeks and the eyeballs. Mm-hmm. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I like them. Me too. I was... It was just like watching Reagan kind of like work her way around it. <laughs> it's a quiet taste, that's for sure. It was awesome though. I haven't had that for a long time. Like fish eyes, I haven't had that since Hazleton like when I was a little Really? Kid. It was awesome. Dan doesn't like it whatsoever. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're 
pink eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right in there. That's gross. Oh, Here's sure Aubrey beats. Jackson showing off with his knife skills. I was just going to say, beats uh, getting your kitchen all dirty. Yes. I was just oh, waiting. <laughs> Before you texted me this morning, I was thinking, what am I going to do? I have just paper bags, like a tape to the table and yeah. counter and going on. It's like... Um, Shannon wants, uh, wants fresh. Are you trying to have some smoked fish, too? Yeah. You guys will smoke a couple for me. Definitely. Sweet. There's a sweet little setup back here. <clears throat> okay. That's uh, Shelly's fish. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm ready to hang these up in the smokehouse. They, they've all been in the salt brine. And uh, so the fish uh, sides were a bit thick, so I took uh, some strips off and made some jerky out of that. Uh, the fish belly. And uh, of course, we got our filet of fish. Those are going to make beautiful smoked uh, coho salmon. Malays. We really enjoy them around Christmas and well whenever we eat them of course but uh, yeah I'll just show you uh, what they look like hanging up in the smokehouse okay guys I got the uh, fish hanging in the smokehouse or what I call a smokehouse it's actually just a makeshift I uh, built this to store my uh, snowblower and my um, lawnmower so there's my snowblower been displaced to make room for that that looks absolutely gorgeous i'm just ready to start the fire i got my uh, camp stove right there i have a little bit of a chimney with a spark arrestor and in the corner you'll see a fan i'll uh, plug that in and that's going to help uh, help get that smoke uh, circulated to the back of the uh, shed so that uh, we have an equal amount of smoke now remember what i said before you want the smoke, not the heat. So what I do to combat that in my camp stove is I'll start off with dry, um, dry wood, dry material, get a good bed of coals, and uh, then I have some uh, other other uh, smoking wood that is not dry, that's been laying on the ground, that is punky, and it just uh, smolders a nice smoke, and uh, and that's what you want. So this fish, like I said before, is just a salt brine. That's it, and uh, and you let it uh, you let it soak up that salt uh, for however long you want, depending on your flavor. And uh, but uh, it's delicious. Well, I got the smokehouse going. You can see all the smoke. Let me just show you this to you. So that's a pretty heavy smoke right there. You don't want it that heavy. And I'll tell you why is because when it's that heavy, it makes the uh, fish taste bitter. You don't want a bitter taste. You want nice, fresh, salty fish that tastes like fish, not like sugar, not like soy sauce. That's my preference. But uh, if you do want sugar and soy sauce, by all means, you know, brine it in that. But. Uh, Anyway, it's that smoky because uh, I gotta get my uh, stove going and make sure that uh, I get those embers nice and nice and warm, so that uh, that uh, you know the um, more damp wood uh, will smolder. So that's uh, that won't last uh, that smoky. There you go. That's looking good. Don't smoke it this heavy. Um, you'll have to in the beginning, but try to maintain you know a nice light even smoke so stick with it well, we're out here to check the smokehouse and I can see there's smoke billowing lightly out of the uh, top opening let's just open this up and see how she's looking oh, that, looks, that looks good yeah yeah, they're just drying out, starting to dry out now. That's nice. Once they hang for a while and the uh, the water drains off, and they start to open up, you can see that there. 
put little slits in there and the thick pieces so that uh, the smoke gets in yeah. to the, into the uh, flesh of the fish. And that's about the amount of smoke that you want. You don't want a lot of smoke because it will make your fish taste bitter. And bitter fish is not enjoyable fish. But that is going to be good. <clears throat> My baby Ruthie. <laughs> <laughs> my, my little Chenny, Jude. And my big Chenny, <laughs> Denzi. Thanks for helping me cut up the fish, son. Nice. Love it. Keep working at it, guys. It all comes together. It's a beautiful thing when it's done. Well, here's our fish. Uh, it's been about uh, 21 hours of steady light smoke, as you can see. And, uh, and they're feeling pretty nice. They're definitely looking like they're taking on nice cure. That's opening up nice. And that up just a little bit more right in there. You can see where it's sticking like that just to let that smoke in there super 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 that stuff is gorgeous gorgeous well sorry guys I'm not very good at recording uh, this stuff but uh, so I just took the pin bones out of this piece because it's the last piece and uh, so if you're wondering what the pin bones are they're right along the lateral line they uh, connect from the spine out toward the lateral line and they run along the uh, lateral line of the fish so when you flip it over there's a lateral line and they connect down there so uh, by taking them out you do two things one is it better presentation too is when you vacuum pack it it's um it seals uh it, it prevents the uh, pin bone uh, breaking the seal so. so i've measured my bag i've cut it to length and place the uh end of the bag into this little tray right here i close my uh, vacuum sealer Put this in the operate position and there's the vac seal press that it does its business see quite efficient it's a nice presentation and there it is and there that is the last Here's an image of the uh, finished product. The bottom is a filet and the top is fish bellies. You can steam both and have them whatever side dish you want. Uh, you can also take the filet and make a nice, uh, nice uh, light cuts for uh, crackers. Hope you enjoyed the video.